Hello everybody, my name is Zach from English Town and this is English Town Pronunciation Course. When you see letters in the English language, they won't always be pronounced the same way. Take the letter C for example. When I say cat, change, place, or ache, all of these words have different pronunciations for the letter C. When I say ache or cat, C is pronounced with a k. When I say place, C is pronounced with a s. And change, C is pronounced with a ch. So that's why there are 26 letters in the English language, but 44 sounds. And it's your job to know them all. And now I'm going to present to you the IPA, International Phonetic Alphabet. So this tool is used to symbolize all 44 sounds in the English language. So the next time you look up a word in the dictionary, you will be able to know how to pronounce it by looking at those symbols from the IPA. And there you have it. This is the IPA. As you can see, there are three main areas. We have the vowels, diphthongs, and consonants. Let's take a look at the vowels. There are five vowels in the English language. A, E, I, O, and U. But there are more sounds, as each one of these vowels can have more than one sound. So let's go through them together. First one, E. E, as in seat. E. E, as in sit. O. O, as in book. Ooh. Ooh, as in boot. Eh. Eh, as in left. Uh. Uh, as in the word again. Er, er, as in her. O, o, as in door. Ah, ah, as in cat. Uh, uh, as in cup. R, R, as in far. Ah, uh, ah, uh, as in on. Now we move to diphthongs, so a combination of vowels. And what sound will that make? Ear, ear, as in hear. A, a, as in wait. Oo, oo, as in tour. Oi, oi, as in toy. O, o, as in throw. Air, air, as in hair. I, I, as in like. Ow, ow, like in now. We've covered vowels and we've covered diphthongs. Now let's cover the consonants. Now there are two kinds of consonant sounds. We have voiced and unvoiced. Voiced sounds use your voice. That means that inside your throat, your vocal cord is vibrating. So if you are making a voiced sound, you should be able to feel it with your hand. So it's vibrating. Unvoiced sounds don't use the voice. For example, if I touch my throat, I don't feel any vibrations. So my voice is not being used. Now let's start with unvoiced consonant sounds. As in fit. T, t, like in top. as in think, ch, ch, as in chip, s, 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 
as in sun. Sh, sh, as in ship. K, k, as in cat. as in hit. Now let's move on to voiced consonant sounds. B, b, as in bad. V, v, as in vase. D, d, as in dog. V, v, as in this, j, j, as in jam, z. Now this one is very important, z, as in Zach, j, j, as in vision, g, g, as in go, mm. Mmm, as in man. Mmm, mmm, as in nice. Uh, or uh, as in love. Wa, wa, as in what's up. Ya, ya, as in you. When looking up a word, you can utilize the option of listening to the word first. For example, online, you click on the speaker button and you listen to how a native speaker would pronounce that word. You, in turn, will imitate that speaker and try to pronounce it the same way. You can find this symbol on top of a syllable when looking up a word and it indicates the stress. For example, we say interesting instead of interesting because the stress is on the in. So now let's put everything we talked about together and look up these words. I want to see if you can find out how to pronounce them correctly using the dictionary. Okay, so here we have vehicle and vegetables. If you said them the same way as I did, good job. And if you want to learn more about word stress, stick around until lesson 19, where we cover everything you need to know about this topic. So that's it for the IPA lesson of today. And if you have difficulties pronouncing words in the future, just remember to re-watch this video.